What do you think of it? What do you think of it, Mr. Cordner? Oh, I think it's a dandy, Mr. Riley. It used to be a country club. One road in, one road out. Screen every customer without making any fuss. Use those lawns out there for a parking space. There were 5,000 square feet of floor space on the main floor alone. 20 rooms upstairs, private. That's not counting the servants' quarters out back. 35 miles from one city, 65 miles from another. Quiet, secluded, but near the main highway. Go on. <laughs> the poor fella that tried to make a nightclub out of this place never got very far. There's $100,000 back taxes on it. You can pick it up for that. I want 10% of the gross. Right off the top? Right off the top. How soon can you get the tables and the girls in here? Three days. Good. You got 10 seconds to make up your mind. What do you say? We're in business, Mr. Cole. Oh, no, wait a minute. A couple of things. How long do you figure on being in town? A week, two weeks until all this gets organized. All right, you go over to Vinedale, you get yourself a nice, quiet room and stay out of my town. Don't push too hard. And you keep your dirty eyes off my wife, Mr. Riley, or I'll kill you. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Mrs. Cortner. Are you selling something? No, I'm not. Oh, well, my husband will be with you in a moment. Make yourself at home. All right. We don't usually have visitors this time of day. Huh. Don't apologize, Mrs. Cordner. You're not from here. No, I'm not. Mr. Cordner? That's right. My name is Riley. Oh, that's a good name. You met my wife? Yes. May I offer you a cup of coffee, Mr. Riley? No, thank you. Oh, well, excuse me. What's their names? Oh, that's not important, Mr. Cortner. I thought a fellow named Karras was going to call me up, tell me where to meet him. Well, Mr. Karras couldn't make it, Mr. Cortner, so I came for him. I just dropped by and he asked me to speak for him. All right, fellas, speak up. Like it? Yeah, mighty pretty machine. It's registered in your name. Oh, that's so. Does the uh, color suit you? Fine. I'm as far as you'll get, Mr. Gardner, and that's as much as you'll get. Take it or leave it. I'll leave it, Mr. Riley. Now, all we're asking you to do is to release Mr. Dedman from your jail. That's no good. There'll still be charges against him. In a few days, Mr. Dedman will surrender himself to answer whatever charges have been made against him. By then, there'll be no charges at all. Suppose you release him and let us worry about his problems. No, I'd forget about Deadman. Look, you're pushing a little bit. You think hard, Mr. Riley, and you think fast, because, boy, I don't have much time to fiddle around with you. The district attorney has got a case. He's got a complaint. And he's got a witness that you people are not going to be able to buy off. Your boy is hooked and landed man. And when he stops flopping around, he's going to spend the rest of his life in prison and be lucky that we don't have capital punishment in this state. Now, when he finds out how bad off he really is, he's going to start yelling. He would, you would, I would, anybody would. And that is all that they're hoping he'll do. They? Who are they? What are you talking about? A fellow named Kane. Nicholas Kane? That's right. Nicholas Kane. You know about him? I know about him, yes. Yeah, and he knows about you, too. He doesn't know your name. He doesn't even know what you look like. But he's down here to smoke you out. Fella, you, you starting to think a little bit now? Where's Kane? Oh, he's down at the Huxton house. But if I was you, I wouldn't go down there. And I'd try to get rid of those two things out there. What exactly do you want, Mr. Cordner? $10,000. For what? Fella, for services rendered. I told you about Kane. 
You wouldn't want me to tell him about you, would you? I'm not one yeah, of your little It's all made deputies. out for you. You open a savings account at the National Bank for J.J. Helm. See that? H-E-L-M. And you put the deposit slip and the bank book and a nice plain envelope, and you have it at my office by 12 o'clock noon. All right, Mr. Cortner. Ten thousand dollars. Fine and dandy. And and you better meet me about three o'clock. I'll show you where we're going to start. Start what? Oh, well, you want to do business around here, fellow? You do it with me. Did anyone say that we wanted to do business here? You did. They did. I sent Deadman down here to look this place over. I know what he was up to. I know what you're up to. Don't try to bamboozle me. And don't try to do anything around here without me, fella. Because you can't. All right, Mr. Cordner. Three o'clock. Sam! You? It's Mr. Cool on the phone. Okay, honey. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I didn't know you were still here, Mr. Riley. Just leave me, Mrs. Cordner. It looks like I'm going to be around here for quite a while. Oh, that looks cool, huh? Wants to know if you'll referee the old-timers baseball game Sunday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> 